Today we're going to Royer's family's house to meet his mom. Oh my God, wow. Buenas. Huh? <laughs> Buenas. She's Victoria. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's so happy, so emotional. Feliz. Feliz. That's sweet. Yeah, she is so happy. Yeah. You know, it's emotional. She for everything is like a cry, cry, cry. Hola, <laughs> baby. Hola. Quizá la abuela. Vamos. Costa Rica. Oh, it's even wet. We're good. Sit down. It's rainy season in Costa Rica. Just now getting wet. It's really good to see Ryer. Mm-hmm. Meeting with his mom. What did you think? She's wonderful. Right? She says so She would be the best mother-in-law in the <laughs> yeah, entire world, would. right? <laughs> but yeah, so, because then I think, like, will I see him again before the baby? Will it be after the baby? You know, how far away will it be? I don't, he doesn't then? understand that he's not going to make it in time for the baby. That's because he's, he really doesn't want to think about not being there. They said it takes six to nine, I'm thinking analytical, but six to nine months when the papers were filed. It takes a lot to make it happen. Yeah. If it can happen. And, and, and not just that, the final say-so is in the government's hands. Yeah. I'm committed to supporting you. I know that you're not gonna have a whole lot of support. And I know you're gonna hear a lot of stuff. But it's okay. But that's okay because <laughs> you got me. No, I appreciate you, really. I do, I appreciate all of it because none of this would be possible without you. Tomorrow is Nova's gymnastics competition and we're driving to stay overnight in a nearby hotel. Louis says he's going to meet us there, and I also invited Devon, but I haven't heard back from him yet. Are you excited about tomorrow? Yeah. For Nova, yeah. Devon texted. What? Saying, if I find a ride, I can come, but I don't leave work till about 8 o'clock at night. It's loading. So I'll say, OK. Okay. No, don't just put OK. I'm going to say, well, we are leaving now. He said, text me address just in case anything changes. That's it? He's not coming. Lewis met us at a hotel last night and stayed over. We're heading to the competition now, and it sucks Devon couldn't make it, but at least Stella has her dad. Good luck, love you. Give me a kiss. Bye. Stop love you, love you. Down. Good luck, girls. Nova. I love you. Hey, Dad, Daddy. Take a chill pill, man. <laughs> not, not happening. You gonna do what Nova does? You like gymnastics? She's, she's in gymnastics class for like toddlers and stuff. But she don't listen, so. Yeah. Having fun? Sure. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Woo! That's your sister. Look at your sister. You see her? That's your sister? Yeah. She looks good. Why didn't her dad come? Why the mom didn't come? I don't know. Woo! Thanks for coming. Anytime. Helping me with the baby in the nighttime, a little bit. even though I was up. Nova just finished her routine, and I'm feeling a little awkward with Louis, so I need to step outside. Hi. We're at Nova's competition. Um, I have to talk to you, though. Ooh, que pasa? I had sex with Louis again. <laughs> For everything you need to know about preventing pregnancy and protecting yourself, go to itsyoursexlife.com.
with Lewis again. <laughs> was it alcohol involved or were you sober? I was sober. What the hell, baby? We were supposed to blame it on the alcohol. I know, but I did it sober and I'm just like, what the I ended up falling asleep with Stella on the bed and then I went to the other bed because Stella moves too much and then all of a sudden it's like it just happened oh, God. yeah and we didn't use protection either oh, oh that, that's even better that makes us even better <laughs> was Stella happy like to see you guys there together she was happy because he was in the shower and she was like where's my dad where's dad Aww. so it was cute it was cute but I know that's what you wanted but not like this not like this but I just don't want it to be you have to do this for him to stick around for Stella exactly so that's, that's, that's be. becoming like a prostitute at that point selling my body <laughs> for <laughs> for your daughter do you think he's taking this as more than just sex or I think he's taking it as more than as just sex I think he wants more like, I'm okay with, you know, hooking up once in a blue moon, but the whole catching feelings is a no. I don't know how Lewis is going to take it. I only want, you know, for you to be there for Stella. I don't want a relationship. I don't know how he's going to take it. We've been recording podcasts all day, and tonight we're interviewing a psychic medium. Hey, guys, this is... Kayla Lindsay with Coffee Combos Podcast, and we are here late night with Monica the Medium. Welcome, Monica. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. I've been to Medium. Yeah. Some have been spot on, mm -hmm. some have been... Suck. <laughs> like, you're not even real, because yeah. what you're saying has no... doesn't make sense to me. I'm just gonna open it up to spirit. So this is what happens when I start to channel spirit. I turn all red, my ears turn red. You look fine. I start to, like, I can't catch my breath, and a lot of things are happening. So, sorry, this is what starts to happen. <laughs> Do you have children? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I was getting a three connection here, but I do get four, so I do feel like there might be one more child for you. Um, do you really want a girl? Yeah. Yeah. I hate to say this, but it might be a boy again. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not having another boy. <laughs> it might be a while, but I do feel like there might be another one. But well, then... I guess you have to have a significant other, right? Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Also, not true, but <laughs> <laughs> there's an aunt that's coming through. So, do you have an aunt that's coming? Okay. You have an aunt that's on the other side, so I, does your mom have a sister that's crossover? Yeah. Do you not have a relationship with your mom? I don't. Okay. We just don't get along living in the same house. It's fine. I, I wish you all the best. I took Lincoln to her house, came back two hours later, and she was trashed, and... With the baby. Yes. I had to cut my mom off completely, like I got so, I'm so angry. I don't even know if my mom knows I had a third son. Because I feel like this aunt, she's like, I see and understand why you feel the way that you do towards your mom, but she's like, just hear me out for a second. Like, you don't even fully realize the that your mother has gone through that made her the way that she is. Does your mo mom have a drinking problem? Yeah. Okay. Because I got this feeling of um, she's not always really fully with it. And I also felt like that she struggles with some sort of mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, and I get this feeling of like, at a soul deep, deep, deep down, even if it's not even close to the surface, at a soul level, She's a really good person, deep down. You've said that about her? Oh, my mom's she, a really good person. She means well. Right. You understand that? Mm -hmm. It's almost like losing a loved one, but that they're, but that's not dead, you know? It's like, it truly is like grieving the loss of somebody who's still alive. And I feel like, I don't want to cry, but she, again, even though you might not have a relationship with her, the love that your mother has for you, even if you never can like have a relationship, don't ever for a second think she doesn't love you because the thing that is the only thing that keeps her going in her life is the thought of knowing that you're out there. It's really weird to hear the medium talk about my mom because I haven't heard from her and I don't think she knows about my grandmother passing. I'm still in San Diego and I've been doing stuff for my hair care line for the past couple days. And today we're doing the photo shoot. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you, nice Kale. Meet you. Thanks for doing this, guys, everyone. Do you guys know what styles you want? Nope. I don't care. 
you don't surprise us. You want to do some braids? Any yeah. So I'll put you with Pam because okay. she does some bomb braids. Okay. And then we're gonna wash you both of you guys. Okay. So wash. Cool. All right. <laughs> My mom is calling. Uh, I'm gonna have to step out. Every cigarette you lie, I know where to find, so just let me know. And away we go. Can you see what can Good sugars. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!